like two more months of hay. Harrison said it's three months in length, but we will only use one of them this afternoon. It is considered to be huge in a small family. So as we continue, <laughs> oh, she's right there, yeah. <laughs> We're taking our way deeper and deeper into the case. So secure your legs as we continue on the tour. For anyone ever did cave in on the tour, anyone ever did cave in here, crawling through small areas like some of our explorers anymore? No? Now I can't mention that the water within the stream comes from the Rochman Hall Gully. If you take a walk in the Rochman Hall Gully, you realize there is no surface stream there. What the rain water does, it soaks up 54 meters of rock and then drips right into Harrison's Cave. You can see that what happens on the surface has a direct influence on the cave environment in terms of water quality within the stream. So we all must be mindful what we do on the surface can truly impact what happens in the cave. So all along here, anyone, how long do you think it took them to do all of this work? How long do you think it takes? Now this, they did this work from the beginning to the end, and it took them five and a half years with no loss of life within those years. So that's how long it took them crawling through areas like right here. So we are again at the village, and it's over to your right. We call it the village on the way the Stalamites. They are clustered together like groups of people in a close-knit community. And we know that life in a village is so peaceful and enjoyable. Villages don't have a natural beauty to them. They simply yet beautiful. So remember, look, that's where we came from. Remember, that's where we came from. Our next point of interest is the most important area to the whole cave. We would have traveled traverse through areas that were created for us. But ladies and gentlemen, when you see this passage, here we go, take a look. You can only imagine some of the emotions that our great explorers had when they first entered this area. So the pool, the explorers pool, is nine feet or three meters at its deepest point. The small passage, let me show you the small passage, that's where Anthony Mason the Barbadian and Danish Ole Solson, they were the ones to crawl through when they first entered in 1917. Now this passage is one kilometer in length and will take you four hours traveling through to get out of the cave. It's where the bats, the crickets, the cavefish and the crayfish can be found, and you find around 1,000 bats through the small passage above the ladder. We have the bats, bats net, netted off from this area. They make their way on the outside for food. Now they continue here. Let me ask you this. Can anyone here this afternoon, I want one big yes, see themselves crawling through here? Take a look. On your hands, knees, and tummy. With a flashlight, knowing that your lights will fail you, not knowing where you are going, or if the water will suddenly rise and trap you. That's how they first, first, first experienced Carson's game. So on a daily basis, they cross out of the pool area through this small passage, and where we would emerge by twin falls is where our streams merge as one. Well. So I want to show you, look back with me right here. This is where they emerge on a daily basis. And most of the passages in the original interest is the same size and somewhat smaller than this one. Both of these trains come from two gullies, the Rochman Hall and the House Gully. So the surface of the walk is very close. Now the ceiling was here, and if you look with me, you can see it, take a look above your head, and see the beautiful crystals. 
as well as very, very fragile and similar to that of straws and cold, but so very strong. Scientists have estimated it will take 120 years to form an age of this star type. So that way they will continue to grow eventually they will reach the floor level. But this will be in another lifetime. Very fragile. So if you break them or touch them, they will be forever. You will kill them. They will not grow anymore. So that's why you strike on no touching or breaking or removing, removing any of the formations on the ground. If you look with me, wow. Look and look at down here. Wow, 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 wow. Now, do you recall being up there with the dentist family? Look back, look back. Remember that's where we made our first stop? Some 50 feet above on the upper level. At this point, we are 100 feet or 30 meters below the surface. This area reminds people of a great cathedral and believe that a five-story apartment building can fit comfortably down here. So from time to time, our geologists, they will come into the cave and conduct various studies on age of, for, for example, age of the formation, the texture, the soil, the water. But recently, they have estimated the large stomach close to the top. This is estimated to be over 190,000 years old. It is the oldest formation within the Great Hall. So this massive hall is 100 feet high and measures 160 feet of gold. All that is missing from the Great Cathedral is your beautiful voices. Let me hear them. One, two, three. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So we're traveling here, this is concrete. Look down, this is what, what we are traveling on is concrete. And you'll notice here how the water is flowing all underneath the roadway. So even though they come off the gallons of water, we're still flowing on top of the gallons of water. So as we continue through this area, it is our periatic zone, which basically means at one point, the water was as high as the ceiling above. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you as you traverse through this area to please look around and see what is happening. Look around. If you need to take photos, you can angle your body in the and sit in. Put up your camera and use the backdrop right here. Look at the ends. Look at it. It's pure, it's pure, it's pure. Yes? Not as soft as it appears to be. Look at this. So get some photos here. Now this milky white substance is called flow stone. F L O W flow stone. As the water flows against the rock face, it leaves behind tiny deposits of calcium carbonate. Now this is a very young active girl, estimated to be 25 years old and 2.5 centimeters thick. Significant, it grows quicker in warm tropical caves. Are you feeling some humility as you go through? Yes? Wherever you are around the world, caves will reflect the annual average temperature of that country. 78 Fahrenheit, 26 Celsius, with a constant humidity of 96%. 96%. So this stone here is also composed of sheet-like deposits of other carbonated minerals from where water flows against the wall or along the floor of a cave. However, this stone may form in any type of cave where water enters that has thick of dissolved minerals. So along the way, this mineral water will bring in with it magnesium, potassium, and calcium. Truly look up to your left. 
This is beautiful. It's called the altar. And here you see two lovely stalactites standing up in a little pool of water. Look at the backdrop and you will see the flow stone as well in the backdrop. Did you know that people get married in Harrison's Cave? Did you know that people get married in here? Yes, where you got off first. That's where couples say I do. But the gentlemen, they propose to you right here. Take a look. This is where they will be. Yes, yes. Yes. So we had a couple last week, the gentleman who got off and he said, he asked the young lady, will you marry me? And she cried and she cried and she cried. I had to say, ma'am, please say yes so we could continue on the tour. I kicked her off and in the end, <laughs> I am telling the truth. <laughs> I am telling the truth. <laughs> and in the end, she did say yes. Yes, so they're both residents. Yes, they're residents. So the mirror lake up here, the mirror lake here to your left. Now this lake is a crescent shaped loop and it only dates to the development of the cave in the 1970s. The water within the mirror lake is super saturated with rocks of calcite. And as a result, there are some interesting formations forming that may be unique to the still lake. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at two to four feet of water, it's only two to four feet, or eight feet of silt, S-I-L-T at its okay. bottom, which is a form of clay sand. So if you go around this lake, I want you to know eventually, you'll start to go down and down and down. On our return, I'll tell you how they found out about the danger around the mirror lake. Could you please turn off all cameras or any lights you may have. I want to share with you what our cave looks like before all the bright lights. And if you get... Now we have a better understanding of what the explorers went through when they first entered in 1970. Does it not make you wonder what they were thinking at that time? Yeah. Okay. I'm wondering what I think you for the right now. <laughs>